we can create an intriguing painting on a cloudy day. In lesson three, we set the stage for a cloudy day um, in this scene, a beach. But well, first, I want to introduce you to the palette and show you how I got there. Uh, and I'll start with the color wheel and the tertiary colors on the color wheel. Those are the colors that are between, uh, that sit between every primary and every secondary. Six of them there. Well, in order to create the kind of luminous luminance that we need uh, to give an intriguing painting for a cloudy day, we can use complements, uh, sets of complements from the tertiary palette. We have the Viridian, which is our blue-green I showed you on the color wheel, Rembrandt Viridian, and I have it gradated uh, with the Gamma Titanium White, just to about middle value range there, and that's because it's low-key. So we're not going to be getting up into the high value ranges very much at all. And then the complement of the uh, blue-green is the red-orange, and the red-orange we're using is the Gamlin Cadmium Red Light, also gradated up uh, with the white, titanium white. Now, for our other set of complements, uh, I'm using here the Gamlin Dioxazine Purple, which is closest to the uh, blue-violet on the color wheel, or, or the tertiary blue-violet. And I'm going to use as this complement right here. I didn't pull this color down because uh, uh, it, it's already a pretty high, pretty high value. So I didn't pull it down in the value range or in the value of lines there. Uh, that is the Rembrandt Cabin Yellow Deep. I'm going to leave out that little pile of grass in the middle because right now, well I think I am because right now I don't see this being very helpful. Now I've got that established. What I want to do now is to reflect more of that uh, of that that pink, that warm on top of it. So I'm going to go right in here to my low light value of the cabin red light right here. No, that intensity is way too high. We would never see that high of intensity in under a cloudy sky. There's not enough light to allow us to see it. So I need, I want to lower the intensity first. Just to, let's see how I want to do. Make about a three degree lower of, lowering of the intensity. Now, so I'm pulling the cat, the uh, viridian into that to lower it, lower it, and. Uh, now that is probably, let's see here, I check it here, it needs to be, I kind of overdid, so I'll pull back from the cabin red light and get into, I'm trying to get, get I want that uh, third degree from the most neutral. Well, let's see here, uh-huh, that's probably going to be it, and let's just give a little bit of scumble, can you see as it, that goes on, what happens there, a little bit of scumble of that color in here. Let's throw a little bit of it in there. All right, and so this is, uh, <coughs> what, what I'm doing here is not to the degree that the luminous painters took their paintings, but it's using the luminous principles. So you can, um, you can take your study as far as you want to take it, as far as what you're doing. But you want the hue, the, uh, in order to create the luminosity, uh, to, to, uh, a set of complements are side by side at the same value. Oh, that's that's the um, contrast of um, that's a complement or contrast of hues, or a more intense color like the yellow and the yellow oranges that we used here, against a less intense color. That's the grays around it, sitting at the same value. 